welcome back friends today we are going to talk about list code problem 1669 merge in between linked lists you are given two linked lists list 1 and list 2 of sizes n and m respectively remove list 1's nodes from the eighth node to the bit node and put list 2 in their place the blue edges and nodes in the following figure indicates the result so they have given us that this is the first list and this is the second list we have to cut the first list from here and we have to append the second list here and we have to append uh, this point again uh, the first list and go till end actually so this part we have to remove from the first list so build the result list and return its head so they have given us this first example so let's just take this example over here uh, and we can discuss about like how we are going to implement this so um, as you can see we have been given like a two uh, list right so we have two heads so one head is pointing here uh, that is let's say head one and this one is a head two for the list two so uh, uh, we will create like we will create two pointers prev1 and cur1 for list1 and we will create two pointers prev2 and cur2 for list2 so prev is like uh, to keep an handle of the previously visited node and cur is the uh, current node so what we will do is let's say in this example they have given us a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4 so we have to remove this uh, so you can say like uh, the node from 0 1 2 and then we are removing the third and fourth node actually and then we have to point this to here to the uh, second list head and then we will go all the way until end of the second list and we will point the end of the second list to 5 because we want to remove the third and fourth node two nodes so uh, what we will do is uh, uh, we will start like um, you know looping through the first list so uh, let's just say p1 is uh, for prev1 so I'll just say p1 here for prev1 and I'll just say cur1 c1 here for cur1 so let's say uh, here p1 will be here first which is a null right which is like it's pointing to head and we will make uh, the c1 point here actually so it's one node ahead right so at the same time i'll show you the implementation also so it will be easy for understanding so uh, we define first previous one and pre1 and cur1 here and we are actually going to iterate through the first list until we actually i is equal to 0 right so i is less than a we will iterate and we will just move the pre1 and cur1 here right so we will move until three times right a is 3 so what we will do is cur1 will uh, go here uh, here cur1 will go and pre1 will be here right at that time so this is the pre1 uh, then cur1 will go here in the uh, when i is equal to 2 right so cur1 c1 is here and the pre1 will be here at this time and when a is equal to 3 here when a i is equal to 3 right so um, i 0 1 2 and at that time uh, c1 will reach here right when i becomes so p1 will be pointing here at this node 2 and c1 is pointing to node 3 right so as you can see i is starting from 0 right so it will run like how many times 0 1 2 3 times it will run so 3 times means c1 will go here here and here so 3 c1 will be at position 3 now and p1 is at position 2 now right so now what we want to do is we want to uh, take this p1 next and we want to point it to the second list head right so that's what we will do so p1 dot next we will point to the second list so as you see here the 
priv1 right priv1 dot next uh, here we will point priv1 dot next to the second list here list 2 is the head of the second list right list 2 is the head of the second list that is given to us so that's where we will point and after we are done we will keep again looping through the first first list itself right because we want to actually count the b minus a nodes and we want to skip those those nodes actually so now c1 is here so we want to uh, move two nodes again right 4 minus 3 which is 1 plus 1 basically so 1 1 plus 1 we have to do so 1 plus 1 because two nodes we want to remove right so that's what we are doing so now what we will do is c1 will go here because two times now we have to iterate again so c1 goes here p and p1 goes here at that time this is the first time and in the second time c1 will reach here and p1 will reach here right p1 will reach here so the same thing we are doing here so let me show you so so again we are starting with i is equal to 0 and i is should be less than or equal to b minus a so it means that it will b minus a is 1 right so uh, it will uh, run two times this while loop because i is equal to 0 and i is equal to 1 so uh, it will run two times so that's what i explained here and c1 will reach at 5 and p1 will reach at 4 so uh, after we are done with this step then we will continue with the list 2 right so list 2 we already have now pointer so list 2 preview 2 is there and curl 2 is there for the list 2 right so uh, we will iterate through this list 2 now curl 2 is like uh, curl 2 is go here then it will go to next and it will go to next until it reaches the end right so curl 2 is reach the end here now because now the next is null here right in the original list so c2 is pointing to the last last node so that's what we are doing here right pre2 is equal to curl2 and curl2 is equal to curl2 dot next means this while loop when we uh, iterate this while loop at the end curl2 will reach null here and this one is actually p2 right p2 means um, this one will be the previous to the c2 node as you can see the condition curl2 is not equal to null so in the last uh, iteration curl2 will become null right so curl2 will become null so c2 is null c2 is null and this is p2 so previous to now we have to point here to the c1 right so this is c1 so we have to point the prev2 to c1 so that's what we are doing here so preview 2 dot next we are doing to curve 1 means c1 basically so now this is how we have removed this part of the list successfully right so we don't have this part now in the list because from here from 2 next is going to 1000 and we will loop through this list until end and we will again attach this last node to the c1 here so which means that 3 and 4 nodes will be removed from the list so that's what uh, you know it's a very simple implementation we are just uh, uh, taking this prev1 cur1 and prev2 cur2 these two pointers and we are just uh, iterating through the list once so this is just like order of n implementation or uh, time complexity there is nothing for the space complexity because we have we are just using just couple of list nodes so this is the space complexity is one and time complexity is order of n because we will be iterating through both the list once so um, i took the example that they have given us here so let's just you know run this example and make sure our implementation works so as you can see we are getting the correct result here so let's submit the solution So the solution got accepted with 100% Java runtime and 35% uh, less on memory usage. So this is uh, pretty fast actually because we are not using any external like any extra memory space and we are just like iterating through the list once. So um, uh, I will be like putting this code into my GitHub account and I will give you the link link of my GitHub account in the description. You can check it out there. 
but uh, I think I already explained in details how we are actually going to remove a part of list one here using the you know we'll just use pointers and we'll just move the pointer c1 and p1 and appropriately we will just connect the lists so this part will be removed so if you like this solution uh, uh, hit the subscribe button and click on the like button um, i often make videos on the lead code solutions and java j2e related interview uh, materials so if you are interested in this please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching the video